I think more than anything, we felt really honored to be part of telling this story, and we felt a burden of responsibility towards all of the women who so bravely came forward in 2017 and after that. So much of the film is about female heroism, and I think there's just not that many examples of that on screen, unless it's a sort of superhero film, which also has its place, but to see women doing, you know, really performing acts of heroism on screen in their everyday lives and their jobs and the way that they sort of are courageous enough to tell their stories, I think that's really inspiring. Zoe and, um, and uh, Carrie are magnificent, um, very, very talented young actresses. And um, I was just uh, over, overjoyed to be a part of it. You know, they taught me a lot, you know. I love Maria. Um, every now and then you get to work with a director who you just know for the rest of your life, if they ever call, you'll, you don't have to read it. You just will be there. The most touching thing for me was, you know, this one line of one of the survivors who said, I always thought I was the only one. And that kind of isolated place, I think we have to, you know, the moment you share it, you can, you know, communicate and change at least the world around you. I always said that I've always wanted to be a part of a superhero film. And I first read this and I'm like, this is this is a superhero film right here. Like these two women and the job that they did at the New York Times to kind of bring this story to life, a story that so many people had tried and had been stopped. And for them to power through, um, it was just it's just a really remarkable, inspiring story. I used to work as a journalist before I became an actor and I was always interested in untold stories or underrepresented perspectives and I feel like abuse is still something that is still really misunderstood and to get into the complexity of it with such a phenomenal team I think I hope will advance the conversation. I mean it's my first movie so to be a part of a movie of this scale with this many powerful women at the forefront writing it, directing it, um, you know, lending their voices to it. I spoke with one of the actors today who plays older Rowena and the authenticity that both of us were able to bring to the role as actors while also honoring Rowena's story, the writer's words. It's an incredible collaboration of wonderful women and I'm just so honored to be a part of it. It just spoke to me very deeply that uh, that they're telling this story and there, there, there was a great feeling of unity uh, on the film set. Uh, I felt it's rare that you feel such a connected connected feeling between everyone working on the film and, um, and the subject matter. So I was really thrilled to be a part of it. So being a part of this was so healing and so encouraging and I'm just thrilled that the world finally gets to see what I saw a year ago being on that set. We should always be talking about survivors. We should be investing in survivors and what's happening with them. And that's what this night is really about. It's about the people who took a risk and did not know what was on the other side of that risk. And they should be celebrated. We shouldn't be calling anybody else's name but the survivors. Seeing something in, in the screen, it's m even more stronger as an impact. So I'm really happy that they did and that they keep the, the voice of many still very uh, powerful. And I think that it's important to speak up, say what's going on so that people know about it and that there's action that can be taken against it. I came forward to Jody um, in 2017, almost five years ago, exactly. Um, I was in the second article that was published, and this, so everything that was happening in this film, I was, was sort of happening in my life at that time. And um, so it was very personal to me. And we're so thrilled that the world is going to be seeing on the big screen so many of the incredibly brave sources that we encountered in this investigation. This film is like a real testament to the truth and the truth tellers. We wanted them to understand that these women's deliberations were so complex, they took on so much risk, and yet a very small group of sources were able to have extraordinary impact. So, you know, our job, when Megan and I are just sitting home at our desks or in the newsroom when we're not dressed up like this, our job is to help build people's confidence in telling the truth, and we would be thrilled if this film did that as well for people.